Start with a Dot. Journal for Making Your Mark by Peter H. Reynolds. This is just a very short version of it, not the entire book, but I do want to have my students who I miss teaching art to be able to have a chance to see what inspires me. If you can make a dot, then you're ready to be taken on a creative journey. Every journey begins with a first step or a single dot. This journal will encourage you to keep it going, to let your creativity flow and to see things in a new way, to nudge you to be a bit braver and to inspire you to express more you and share it with the world. Relax, don't worry about getting it right. The quest for perfection often can squelch your efforts. Perfectish is perfectly fine. I'll be encouraging you to sign your name. Be proud of your marks, own them. It'll drive you forward. Dream, vision, flow. Making marks will help you detach from reality, loosen up, see new possibilities, and when you're in the flow, you'll have one foot on the ground and one in the dream world. Pete. Dot making tools. How you decide to make your mark is totally up to you. But I encourage you to try out different tools, experiment, play, have fun. For the best results, water-based markers, permanent markers like Sharpies will bleed through paper, unless of course you like that effect. Of course, you can also use watercolor paper or marker paper to keep that from bleeding through from happening. Different ideas. Start with a dot. Go ahead, just a dot. Now, make a big dot, any color. Admit it, feels good to make dots. Making a dot is easy, fun, quick, and satisfying. And just like us, no two dots are exactly the same. Just try to make two identical dots. Not easy, right? I'm skipping some pages. All colors are beautiful, but try to choose your favorite color and make a bunch of dots in that lucky color. And that sound was a hummingbird. Are your dots orderly dots, scatterly dots, big dots, bold dots, teeny weeny dots, the same size as dots? Why not try making a dot you haven't made yet? A furry dot, a delicate dot, a crosshatch dot, a swirl of dots. How about a dot nudge? Try a colored pencil or use an ink pad. Use your thumb or fingers to make a dotish dot. Dots can be designs. Try dyeing a dot with dots. Dots within dots. Try mixing up colors. Dots surrounded by dots. Dotted lines spiraling around and around. Now make some dotish things. You can turn your dots into things with a few extra lines. Tree-ish, lollipop-ish, ice cream-ish, pizza-ish, wheel-ish, sun-ish, button-ish, face-ish, plate-ish. With your creativity, your dots with wings can become birds. Dots with strings can become balloons. Dots can become rings and kings. A dot can be a start of a face. Look at all the different emotions you can show. And the colors can match what feeling the emotion shows. Dots can be planets and stars. Now take a dot for a walk. Draw a line, start here, end wherever you want and be sure to sign your name. Fill the pages with lines, short, long, continuous. It's up to you, let it flow. Take a look back at your lines. Are they thin, thick, horizontal, vertical, squiggly, short, long, wild? Draw a line that suits each word, quiet, hysterical, 
joyful, confused, headstrong, timid, swirly, excited. You can start small and you can keep going. You can be a bit braver each day and you can dream big. Again, this is a much longer book. It's an entire journal, including pages for you to experiment on. But I absolutely think this is an adorable book and a really good way to start on your journey, starting with Adopt.